Hey, my name is Kaushik, and we'll be creating a customer support chatbot with Streamtune. So all you do is click create your model, and then we're going to upload a data set that I've pulled from Hugging Face. It's going to be a customer support instruct data set that contains instructions, responses, and um, different inputs to various customer support queries. So we're going to then map our input data to the expected training prompt. So this is going to be instruction, this will be input and response. And here you have a preview of what the prompt looks like that the model will be trained on. So uh, the instruction here is provided detailed and helpful response to the customer's inquiry. The input is, uh, this is something like the customer would say, uh, I tried to edit the data on my user account. And the response uh, would be something like this. So let's go ahead and create this data set. It's going to upload it to our server. It's going to take a minute to refresh here. Perfect. And now we can pick the data set that we just created and pick a base model. Uh, right now we only support Llama 3, uh, which is a open source model from Meta. And we hit create model here. Awesome. Now this will create a training job that'll take about 30 minutes uh, or longer, depending on how large your data set is and how long we decide to train it. Um, you're gonna save this link and you can come back. Uh, for the sake of this demo, um, I've gone ahead and done the training. So let's go ahead and explore the customer support bot. Okay, so let's try out some queries here. Um, so the instruction we're going to give is provide a detailed and helpful response to the customer's inquiry. We are an e-commerce store. That sells makeup. And we'll say the customer's input is I didn't like the lipstick I purchased. I want a refund. And this is gonna call our live model. It's privately hosted um, and runs on its own dedicated endpoint. And here we go. Uh, the bot says, I'm sorry to hear you didn't like the lipstick you purchased and are seeking a refund. Our goal is to provide you with a satisfactory experience and understand that your satisfaction is important to us. To assist you with this, please provide me the details of your purchase, such as the order number, and specific lipstick you're referring to. This information will help us process your refund request promptly and ensure your satisfaction. And yeah, uh, we can expect similar responses every time we submit this. So let's try that same prompt in ChatGPT. So provide a detailed response and now you see we get this really long response and that's not really what we want um, in a conversation. So maybe let's tell ChatGPT um, this is actually a conversation um, in a chatbot make the response really short. So we're trying to like nudge ChatGPT to give something closer to what we did to what we got earlier. Okay, kind of got that, but now it's asking us to insert return address or insert the customer service email. And it's not really in a format that we can predict. Um, so I'm gonna add the same. Prompt as earlier, but I'm going to include an example, right? So I'm gonna say, uh, Here's an example of a response. Make the response sound like this. And just to be certain, we'll open a fresh window here. Okay, so I didn't like the lipstick keepers. And still, um, you know, we didn't, we didn't get um, something in the format that we really expected. We still get um, kind of step-by-step -step ordering of doing things um, and yeah. And there's also nothing about the lipstick in the response, which was something that we were expecting.
So those are kind of the differences between fine tuning something and using ChatGPT prompt engineering directly. Uh, overall, it just depends uh, on a case to case whether fine tuning or prompt engineering works. Obviously try prompt engineering first, um, try using RAG as well. Fine tuning is a great option to get specialized answers or teach the model a few new things. Thanks.